Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and occasional mercenary adventure in Gloomhaven. Welcome back to our uh, Let's Play Gloomhaven series. Uh, I am, this is episode number five, and I am playing my level four Orchid Spellweaver. Joining me on our quest is uh, Chris. Hello Chris, who are you playing? Hello. What are you wearing today? I am wearing an Inox Berserker, whose name I forgot. What did I, what did I decide on last time? <laughs> According to time? my notes, it was Solarin. Okay. Sure. Level uh, three, because we already... Level three, Prosperity Inox three. Berserker. I don't exactly know what she does yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, brand new character. We retired last time. Uh, your character. And then we've got uh, Heather. Who are you playing? I am playing the level two quattral tinkerer Kyorio with her sex robot. Indeed, <laughs> sex robot intel. Hello, big boy. Yeah, so previously on our Gloomhaven adventures, um, we were able to finally do the sulfur mine successfully. Uh, third time's a yes. charm. That's right. And that resulted in our mind thief retiring. Uh, which was Chris's starting character. So we've had our first retirement. We have reached Prosperity 3 also as a result of that. So he's able to start at level 3. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Still uh, freaking level 2. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I would love to retire my Spellweaver, which requires another boss battle. And I know we're still hunting the dragon. We failed last time we tried the Ice Crag Ascent. Uh, spoiler alert for episode number 3, I believe. <laughs> we've done a lot of repeats on this. Yeah. On these. Uh, but I believe that leads towards the dragon, so I would certainly vote for trying that one again. Um, and then Heather's personal quest is... You've got locations, right? Yep, I still need to go to the Misty Sea and the Swamp. Sea and the Swamp, which we don't have any scenarios there as of yet. Yep, otherwise I have all the other ones done, but the yeah. Sea and the Swamp. I think we have to rely on a lot of like uh, city and road events to have those missions pop up, too. And then, uh, Chris, what was your personal quest? My personal quest is to donate 120 gold to the sanctuary. So you can be playing that character for at least 12 games. At least 12 games. Yeah. Did you already donate? Did you want to do that now? I did. I already did it. Okay. You got your bless cards. I already, for... I already got the bless cards and marked the, what do you call it? We'll try okay. It. Heather, you marked yours too? Yeah. All right. Um... Uh, wait, I'm supposed to mark something? Uh, for the donation, yeah. Where does they do that at? Uh, underneath the prosperity on this right side of the oh. board. I have not been doing that. Whoops. Well, I think Eric's been doing it for us previously. Uh -oh. I've just been asking That's if you guys do it, and then I do it, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I have a decent amount of money. The children's need the money. Yeah, I'm kind of full on all my equipment that I care about. No, my dice, it fell under Chris's cards. Got boots. I've got a chest. I've got a helmet. I've got two bag items. I actually can't have any more items. There. Here you go. Oh yeah, no, hey, yeah. four. I'm, yeah, I still only have two items. So I will also donate for the children. Yes, the children. The we children. did technically do a special condition for opening envelopes thing too, but I don't know if that's. I'm sitting here reading it, and it says retire a character, open the town records book. Um, I did do the, this part of it. I don't know if we actually okay. read the part of it. Did we do that? There's supposed no, to be a little blurb that you can read. It's a pretty long blurb. Um, where is the town records book? Oh. Under unlockable. Yeah, there it is. Major spoilers. Uh, let's see. Warning, only open if instructed. How do I open it? You don't. Wow. <laughs> to put it on a certain state. Maybe state two? Is that just flip pages? Congratulations on retiring your first character. I know it was hard to let them go, but retirement is a vital step in your journey through this game. Remember that unless told otherwise, you should add the corresponding city and road events of your retiring class in any class you've unlocked to the event decks. As detailed on page 6 and 48 of the rulebook, don't forget to add one prosperity to the city. On the opposite page, you're encouraged to document the details of all the characters who retire over the course of the game, which is what we did in the upper right corner on the table. Is this just telling you what you already did? I think so, yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to read it all. If okay. It's, it's just, 
instructions on what you've already done. Yeah, and it does say to read uh, to the next line. So I believe we already added the events. I think we did do that. I think so. I remember you mentioning that. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's okay. So it's in. I guess you can't spoil yourself. So it's in individual states. Well, I mean, you could, but. Uh, does anybody else want to read? Um, it's going to be probably a page or two of lore. Of lore? Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, you can unlock new scenarios from this, too. It just depends on where you are in the prosperity. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, does it start at page four? Yeah, because the first one was the like page I just read, and then it was the town records and all that. So Okay. So you want to start some sort of record of all the mercenaries who've moved on from Gloom Gloomhaven? A short bearded man asks with a scowl. Sounds a little arrogant to me, but I'm sure you've got a spare record book somewhere in the stacks. He puts down his pen into the spine of the book he was inking and steps out from behind the counter at the front of the town records building. I'll be back in a bit. Don't steal anything. He gets in one <laughs> I'm good stealing scowl. everything. How dare you, Before sir. turning and walking toward the back of the building, nearly tripping on his overly long robe multiple times. As he slips behind one of the many shelves of books, your attention shifts to the building itself. The town record building is a large circular structure on the west side of the coin district. Built as a set of symbol for the town of wealthy merchants. Anyone who actually enters can quickly see that the massive library is woefully understocked. Some sections, such as the teachings and philosophies of the Great Oak, are reasonably full, but many others have just a handful of books occupying long, barren shelves. Perhaps this is why some of your merchant friends were so adamant about you taking a trip to the town records building in the first place. Recording your party's exploits creates more content to fill these empty halls. With this in mind, your content. thoughts turn to open book an open book directly in front of you, the one the clerk was working on. There are two texts on the counter, and it looks as if the clerk was in the process of transcribing the writings of one into another. Looking more closely, however, you notice the titles are different. The complete book is The Rise of Human Civilization, while this other's is entitled The History of Gloomhaven by Dominic Scrim. Intrigued, you begin to read what he was writing. That's a good name. He is, he is a plagiarist. <laughs> At some point thousands of years ago, humans stopped hiding in caves and began to form societies out in the open, erecting modest farming villages that eventually grew into the massive sprawling cities we see today. Living out in the open was never easy, though. There were wars, both amongst themselves and with other races, such as the Valraths to the south. More troubling, however, were the constant raids from the more barbaric races of the world, Inox and Vermling tribes, who had no concept of peace and wanted only to kill and destroy. Walls were always necessary, as were the armed men who guarded those walls. For this reason, the civilizations of man grew and developed under a militaristic rule. Those skilled in warfare held the highest positions in society and governed from a perspective of keeping their charges safe from outside attack. While this regime of strength kept the human race alive and functioning, it did stagnate the growth of other cultural facets of society. What the civilization lacked in culture, though, it made up for with rapid expansion and settlement spreading out from the north to every corner of the continent. This created a strong foothold to ensure that humans would continue to prosper and never again have to go back to hiding in caves. I like caves. Yeah. Best to start at the beginning, eh? Dominic now stands before you with a small amount of leather-bound parchment. I found this in the back. It should do well for your purposes, but I see you found something as well. He just shifts his feet a bit and hands you the parchment. Most people see Gloomhaven as some backwoods caravan stop. He says in an accusatory, accusatory tone. A necessary evil in the middle of a deadly wilderness. But I disagree. I love Gloomhaven, and I believe its history needs to be documented. I think this town plays a far more important role in the history of this continent than anyone realizes. And I'm going to prove it. Dominic flashes a brief, nervous smile and then grabs up the two books on the counter. But it's not finished yet. Not by a long shot. Come back later, and I might have more history for more history to share. Oh, God, somebody else want to keep reading? Because <laughs> we have reached prosperity level three. We have, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually surprised we didn't, we reached three uh, with our first retirement, retired. yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Yep. I have to zoom in, though. You can hold down Alt, and it'll bring it up if you hover over it. All right. You walk into the town records building and are immediately struck by how different it looks. It might just be the lighting, but there seems uh, to be more books on the shelves and less of a scowl on Dominic's face. The short-bearded man approaches you. Ah, how good of you to come, he says. No doubt to record the further exploits of your friends. 
I was most assuredly derisive of your motives when you first walked in here, but I must say the idea has grown on me a little. Dominant slaps you on the back, then wanders around behind the counter. Whether you like it or not, you're becoming important fixtures of this community, and I am sure that I will have to thank, at least in some small way, for the increased number of books lining the shelves. Uh, is it just flip the page? Yeah. Uh, here, you got to put it on. I got it. You got to right click and go to the next state. It's really annoying. Okay. Uh oh, I did a thing. He waves his arms around his head, <laughs> barely visible beneath his robe's long sleeves. They're not good books, mind you, but they're books nonetheless. Plus, he says with a small smile, I've had more time to work on my own town. Dominic opens the small collection of parchment he has been working on and passes it to you. I'm still focused on the big picture right now, but I should have more soon. I thought you might be interested in taking a look. Though human expansion has not always been greeted with kindness and civility by other races, currently humans are more or less at peace with their neighbors. After a costly peace treaty with the Valroths to the south and an understanding with the prominent Inox tribes, the only main threats are the animalistic vermlings who continue to assault human <laughs> cities, sometimes for no discernible reason. Humans have mostly stayed away from harrower territory out of fear, and the harrowers seem to return the favor. Same goes for the Savas, who live underground in the largely uninhabitable mountains regions in the north. Orchids and quatrels both come from far off continents across the sea and seem far more interested in commerce and cultural exchange than conquest. And so human society has certainly <coughs> benefited culturally from the interaction with other races. Many of the most. Did you already do it? Ah, good. Uh, beautiful structures in human civilization would not be possible without the machinery of the Quatrels, the elemental mastery of the Savas, and the architectural designs of the Volroths. The meditative orchids have even influenced a number of human religions, though they're followers of the Great Oak, a stringent group who believes a giant tree housed in the center of the capital watches over and protects everyone, remain unchanged. And while the human military keeps the civilization alive, it really is it is really the commerce with um, other races that ultimately allows the civilization to flourish. It seems then, as the wilds grew tamer, that a paradigm shift away from militaristic rule and towards the mercantile rule was only a matter of time. Like I said, I'm still working on the broader strokes, Dominic says, but my research has been providing some interesting information. It's all very vague at the moment, though. I need to find better sources, not just Savas howling poems. He takes back the book and frowns. Salvas write the worst poetry and it is incredibly hard to translate. Wait, wait. All right, so I'll have to remember to read again some more when we reach Prosperity 4. And the small song brought to you by Our Small Child. <laughs> all right, so... Hi, Mama. That's, what, that's all I heard, yeah. Uh, yeah who wants she's, to she's going, it's my mommy. It's my mommy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to do a city event once since we're in Gloomhaven. Yeah. You just take the card. Take the top card, flip it over. <clears throat> and read it from there. You hear screams from the south as you approach the docks and see a group of women running towards you in a panic. An invasion! They yell as they race by you, <laughs> nearly knocking you over. You hurry to the docks and find a crowd of workers on edge, of women. Armed, oh, no. <laughs> armed with makeshift weapons and circling one particular pier. Standing at the far end of the wooden planks is a group of lurkers, terrifying crab-like monsters as big as an inox and equally ferocious. Except these lurkers don't appear to be hostile. They are simply standing on the dock, clacking their claws in a strange rhythm. <laughs> Option A, raise arms and fight the lurkers back into the sea. Option B, approach the lurkers cautiously and attempt to communicate with them. <laughs> They're after our precious children. Murder them all. <laughs> uh, that's, that's this character, by the way. <laughs> the only thing that makes sense is that she is, would harm children. <laughs> well, my character likes fighting big monsters, so they would probably agree to fight off the lurkers, even though I uh, think they just want to communicate with us. Probably. <laughs> probably. All right, so I guess we're uh, raising arms because that's what heroes do. <laughs> uh, it's all uh, right click and go to uh, keep it flipped over and then go to oh. right click on it and go to state number uh, 
Two? Number two, yeah, that's the top one. Okay. The crowd parts as you approach the dock with weapons drawn. You step onto the soft wood and the lurkers turn toward you and stop clacking. Mm -hmm. They all hiss and brandish their claws in aggression. You charge forward and meet the threat head on, hacking away at their car carapaces until they scuttle off the dock and back into the water. Gain 10 experience each. All right. Nice. And it is a throwaway card. I'm happy with that outcome. Yep. Carve them up a bit. The children are safe and I got to murder things. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> win. All right. I have new parts to put on the sex robot. <laughs> uh, so we've got a road event. I guess I will read this one. Ah, uh, it's this one. You're walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze in the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southward at the at that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. Do we shoot the birds or let the birds pass undisturbed? Do we feel like murdering a bunch of birds? Yes. Are, are they after the children as well? That's right. The birds are after the children. Murder the birds. I need the feathers for an experiment. All right. We're murdering the birds. Oh, this is a terrible choice. Oh, no. You pull back your bow and take aim. The instant you loose the arrow, however, you notice something odd about the birds. They are much farther away than you realize and much bigger. The arrow misses, but it gets their attention. As the flock turns and descends toward you, you realize you just shot at a group of drakes. You run for cover oh, among no. the trees, but are hit by their acidic spit a number of times in the process. Oh, all start man. scenario with muddle and all start with two damage. So does my helmet go off then? Ah! Uh, what's your helmet? Whenever you gain muddle, gain strengthen instead. Sure does. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so you start off strengthened instead of muddled. That's great. I'll take muddle only lasts for a round, though, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, it lasts for that first round. I guess I should have set up the board first so we can do the things. Let's see. Yeah. So this is scenario number twenty-five. Uh, oh, no, we are still at scenario level two difficulty-wise because we've got a little four, three, and two. Uh, so we are at 25. We've got field rooms. Create map. This one should be familiar to us. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Mm -hmm. Everybody put your... Standies on the board. And we start off with two damage. Hmm? And a muddle. That's not cool. Nope. And me to draw the, the what do you call them? This is right. Suck it, I'm string. That's a lot of goddamn wolves. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, it's set up for three players, isn't it? Damn. We are three players. Yeah, I was checking in. It, it isn't. <clears throat> it's just a lot of wolves. I believe we already got the, the treasure. <clears throat> uh huh. Kyle got the helmet. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah, even ah. though we failed it last time, we still got the treasure. Yeah, all right. But you can't get it again, so that treasure just... I'm just going to take that off the board. Okay. So we don't forget about it. Uh, don't forget your goals. I took mine. Oh, goals. Uh, so I'm not dealing them out? You already did one? Yeah, I already did one. Yeah, I already took two. Okay. I picked one. Ugh. These are both basically the same goal. Oh. Uh, I'm probably not going to get either of these. Hmm. 
I may have made a mistake. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Are you making mistakes I, already? I think, I think I put away all the cards that actually heal me. <laughs> well, that's not good. I know that the Tinker's got heals. I've got one heal. That's true. Yeah, you guys, you guys are actually fully capable of healing people. <laughs> now, whether we'll heal you or not, I don't know. <laughs> that's uh, that's different. Yeah. How fast do we think the wolves will go? I mean, they're pretty, I'm actually going to scoop back one then. I don't want them fucking coming for me. Hey, no <laughs> hiding behind me in the back row. <laughs> I'm the squishiest one here. You're all the way in the back, yeah. You're not the squishiest, are you? No, you are. Yeah, we're tied. One. Uh, you do take the two damage at the beginning from the... Yeah, I need to just click the button. Drake's. You guys are back behind me. We can just let the wolves go first, and yeah, I can put on, I can put on retaliate and just, just you know, I'm gonna go slow and let them close in. Well, you're gonna want to go first then if you're putting retaliate on. Oh, that's true. You're right. Yeah, if they reach you this turn. Well, I bet they will. I don't want to do any of my big turns while I'm muddled, so I'm not gonna do any big thing big this turn. Yeah. Are y'all going to attack at all? I mean, I'm going to move yeah. a little bit and turn on retaliate. And if I can attack someone, I will, but it's not my... That's pretty good. Let's do that. Hmm. I'm going to miss your character making a bunch of frost, though. Your mind thief. Oh, yeah. I just realized that. She has a chance to make fire just with her basic attacks with the modifier mm. card, but. There's no other, no other element generation coming at her. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. I guess so. Oh, what happened? The initiative tracker didn't turn on. Sure didn't. That's not good. Why did that not work? <laughs> no. It didn't draw, I don't think it drew, drew. Oh, yes, it did. It did, yeah. Shoot. Well, I'll have to do it manually then. Um, so I'm an 80. Chris is a 9. Uh, Heather is a 74. And the wolves are a 26. So we're going to go. Well, Chris, wolves, me, you. Correct. Yep. Pull two. I can move two and then pull two. So I can go one, two. I can't actually. No, actually. Oh, shit. I can't even hit him, though, can I? We don't know, can you? Range three. I don't think I can even. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, shit. I wasted a card. Well, I gotta use my boots and move, for move farther forward. I'm gonna do that. You're gonna move up to them? What are they doing? Probably just attacking. Yeah, yeah, moving and basic attacking. All right, I'm move four, one, two, three, four. I'm actually on two. Th I'm just gonna move three. So whatever you guys do, I want, I want them to be in range of you. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and when I do that, it turns on um, retaliate the next turn. And then I'm going to attack two, range three, target two, pull two. Wow. So two, I mean, so I, it's this is two different attacks, right? So I'm attacking two different two different walls. Right. So it's these two right here. Any two that are in Actually, range three. One, two, three. I'm gonna pull the two regular wolves. Try to block that elite wolf from getting to me. That's probably a good idea, yeah. All right, so here's wolf number four. And muddled means I have disadvantage, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. That eh, which one's less? I don't know. What did you Attack roll? Attack of two. Uh, a times two and a plus two, which is the same thing. Uh, I guess on the one that two. didn't generate the element then. Yeah. Be the worst one. Just the it's four either two. way. Yeah. Four. Yeah. So four damage to him. And he is. Four damage. And he is pulled here. And then the other one. Plus zero, two damage to him. And he is pulled here. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so the wolves are next. They're all going, well, the elite is going to go first and move five and then attack three if it can. If you can move five. It can move through its allies too. Yeah. Four, it doesn't matter if pull him or the two, three, four, five. Yep. So it's gonna attack you for three, base three. Make that a four. Four, okay. And then you hit it back for one from your retaliate. Yes. Hit it back for you hit it for one. Is that how? It yeah, works? yeah. You hit it, you ought to. I, mean, I I do draw a modifier, or is it just one nope, damage? This is one damage. One. Ah, okay. And then you actually range attack when you hit them, right? Yes. Okay, because they've got a built-in retaliate as well. Oh right, yeah. That but you, that's only for melee. Yeah. All right, and then all of the others are going to move four and attack for two if they can, in initiative order. So number one. Is already there. So it's going to attack you for what I say, two. Mm -hmm. uh, so two damage. Berserker, and you auto do one damage back to that one. And then number two. Yeah, one, two. That's as close as I can get. Can't attack. Number uh, four is going to attack you oh, that was the wrong one. for. Uh, one damage. Okay. I already, you, did, I already did the one on him. You did the one on him? Okay. Yeah. Two, three. Two, three, four. Yep. All right, fellas, I've tanked these guys. I mean, you're the one that ran up there, man. I don't know if that was the right play. I would have just let it them come like to me. It seems like she's supposed to be a tank. So I, I, would, I would think this is how... Uh, yeah. But Gloomhaven, nobody can honestly tank, though. I mean, tank is a... Tricky concept in this game. Well, uh, I'll, I'll rephrase that. It seems like she's supposed to take damage. Take damage, yeah. <laughs> All right. So my turn. Um, I'm going to use my bottom as a move two. But I'm only going to move one. <laughs> and then I will heal Christopher for three. Ah, you anticipated. <laughs> she knew it was going to happen. Yep. You went one space too far, or I would have been able to give you a double heal. Oh. Okay. Um, I've got a move four, and I've got a range two, attack two. Let's go one. I guess I want to go here because well i've already got disadvantage on oh, i gotta take that one anyway. one two three all right um 
So with this advantage, I'm going to use Forked Tongue to do an attack 2, range 3, target 2, and gain an XP. So attack on number 4, Wolf. An attack of 2, but I have disadvantage. So 3 will kill that wolf. And then attack 2, disadvantage on the other... Wolf number one. Uh, that's an attack of one damage. One damage. Disadvantage sucks. They're both discarded, and there's the end of the round. Now we gotta go fast and kill these fucking wolves. <laughs> yes, we do. All right, if somebody wants to heal me again, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to take more damage. I mean, um, I can move one. Uh, not, can I actually move one? Get rid of my lightning fast card. Shoot. Six, two. All right, I'm going to go pretty fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm not only am I gonna do some damage to myself with this attack. Oh no. Yep, this is, this is the way this lady works. Seems <laughs> real dangerous, son. Uh, trying to want to use fire orbs or impaling eruption. All right, ready? There we go. Why is minus shift attacker not working? That's so sad. Well, we're going faster than Chris. Or 20, no, Chris first. 11, 17, and 19. So, Chris, me, wolves, you. Oh, damn. Okay. 20 is as fast as I can possibly go. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to move one to right here. I don't know if this is a good idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be you um, and Heather before they all go. Yeah, Tinker, are, can you heal me? <laughs> am I going to get a heal? Uh, as long as you don't move. Oh, if I move one forward, am I out of range? Where? To, Where the, to the token? Yes. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, then I'm just going to do two. Um, <laughs> Um, then I will not move at all with the bottom of glass hammer. Instead, I will take I will deal two damage to myself to do an attack of four, target of two. And on items, uh, remind me. It says, during your melee attack, add plus two attack and pierce to the entire attack action. So if I target two, does that mean I get the bonus on both attacks? Mm-hmm. It's your entire attack action, so yes. I think so, yeah. If it, if it just said your single melee attack, then it would just be one of them if you mm -hmm. had a, something that would like add a target. But because it says your entire attack action, it's your entire attack action. Okay. Um... Yeah, then I'll go ahead and do that. I'll add plus two to the four. So it's a base six on these Burning two. out already against these wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the end of it? X is the amount of damage you suffered. So you're using reckless offensive? Yes. 
So that's uh, six to number three. And 12 to number one. Jesus. Wow. That should kill both of them, which means you don't re- get retaliated against if you kill them. Right. I'll actually move back. All right. Once I, once I do this, mm-hmm. just one. I'll move back right here. Okay. All right. That's it for me. All right. Curio. All righty. So my cards were. I will move two and heal one. And it says, I think it says target all adjacent allies. Yeah, affect all adjacent allies. So you both get one heal. Oh, nice. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> then. Spread that healing mist. I'll oh, arrange for that. So. Um, I will just count my upper as a loss because they're out of range. Mm. So just discard it for now. Okay. I'm basically here to try to help keep you alive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. If I known you were coming backwards, I would have pulled a different heel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I didn't know I was going backwards either. <laughs> I just saw that three wolves were going to attack me. Uh, wolves might be a little painful for you also. They they pulled their plus two attack if the target is adjacent to any of the hound's allies, which the first one won't get that, but the next two probably will. Yeah. Well, it's only, well then, okay. They're going to move four and attack you know. two on a base. So number two, uh, you are closest. So it's going to go one, two. And then it's going to attack you for just straight Two plus zero, so two damage. All right. Uh, number five. Uh, you still went before. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So we're tied, but you went before me, so you get the initiative mm-hmm. break there. So now this is going to be painful because it's going to attack you for two mm-hmm. and then get plus two because you are adjacent to another hound. Okay. So this yeah. is an attack four. Plus zero, so four damage. Okay. And then number six is going to target me because I'm the nearest one it can get to with a move of uh, four. One, two, three, four. So it is going to go here and attack me, and it's going to get the same thing. It's going to get an attack four. Uh, it's going to be eight damage to me. Oh, no. Uh, I have to burn a card. Well, oh, fucking wolves. Yep, it's did eight damage. That's insane. All right, that sucks. Burn a card from my hand. I can't take that damage. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> so that just negates all the damage if I burn a card. Oh, okay. All the damage. Gotcha. Yep. Now I go, unfortunately, by one initiative. Mm. Uh, now I could do my frost armor if I wanted to. <laughs> um, I'm going to do Impaling Eruption. But I don't want to be fucking next to them all. Uh, I'm going to use my movement to go here and just get disadvantage on this one, I guess. Actually, and then I'll use my uh, goggles to gain advantage on this entire attack. Nice. Actually, I had a two. I could use my boots to... Yeah, I'm going to use... Instead of moving backwards, because this one is about moving forwards, I'm going to use my boots to turn my movement into a jump. Uh, with And just go to, to here. So, unfortunately... I'm going to negate the disadvantage with two of them with my goggles. Although they're going to fucking retaliate me. Damn it. <laughs> Let's see if I can kill him. All right, so it's going to be an attack of... Uh, it's Impaling Eruption, so attack of three. Um, I will go ahead and use my Power Potion to turn it into attack of five. 
Just kind of blow through all these wolves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's a straight attack five against these two, and they'll have advantage on number six. Nice. So Don't attack miss. five against number two. Wow. <laughs> wow. I sure did miss. And I, wow. take, I take one damage in retaliation. <laughs> uh, and then attack five against number five is six damage. That one dies. And then attack five against number six with advantage is six. So it is also dead. Yeah. Jeez. And I gain one XP for each enemy targeted. So that is one, two, three. And that is a loss. I lost two cards this round because I got hit. Six. Yeah. And that is the end of the round. I'm not doing end round, have I? There we go. We really are blowing everything on these wolves. Oh my Holy gosh. Bad. I mean, there's a lot of wolves there in that turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nasty. Uh, I can heal you this turn. I can heal him again. Can you? Wow. How many heals I do you have? Quite a few. All right. I mean, he probably needs both healing anyway. <laughs> if we get to a point where it's necessary, I do have a neat card that's the next three sources of damage that would reduce me to less than one deal no damage instead. Ah. Uh. So if I ever am really on the brink of death without any healing, I can just keep myself alive for three hits. Yeah. After this turn, I have to long rest. <laughs> what do I want to do? Oh, I've got. So. So thing is. I actually can't go fast because if I hit this wolf and don't kill him, he's going to kill me. That's true. He's going <laughs> to retaliate will be very bad. So I got to have to wait and hope that. I'm almost. Uh, second. I'm at the end of second quarter. I'm flexible. I can either heal you or attack the wolf. On one hand, if we kill the... Well, the problem is, if if the wolf goes f first... I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to play both these cards. I'll, I'll be flexible when they flip over, so oh, I'll, I'll be okay. able to choose from there, yeah. All right, hang on, I want to reorganize my cards then. I'm going to be pretty slow here. But... I'll go a little faster, because I think I can be more flexible if I go a little faster. That's what she said. Hmm. You're a dork. <laughs> <laughs> you missed a golden opportunity on that one. <laughs> I'm the one who said it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, do I trust my... No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Already? Oh, sorry. I don't know why that initiative tracker stopped working. There it is. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> all I had to do was say it. Eh, sorry, I'm not sure. Yeah. I wonder if I need to hit end round oh, first. No, the wolves. Well, if they do that, that means. Oh, never mind. He's doing an attack. Damn, what an asshole. Well, the good news is he's going to attack right. me because. Yeah. I went before you. Because we are the same okay. distance, but I'm higher initiative. So the Hound yeah. will target me with an attack of two and immobilize, which is a pain in the ass. He's going to try to move up this turn. Yeah. Three damage to me. These wolves. Three. I'm at four hit points. I think I just failed my battle goal, too. <laughs> Never allow your current hit point value to drop below half your maximum hit point value rounded up during the scenario. Yep, you failed. I just failed it. Awesome. First room. 
That's a hard one. Like never. That's a very. Five, my other one nine. was to end the scenario at full health. Which? Wait, how many hit points do you have? Nine or eight? Uh, nine max. Nine. Yeah, you you failed. So round it up would have been five. Yep. Motherfucker. And I'm immobilized. That's fun. Cannot move it this turn. Damn it. Stupid hero wolf at the end. Yep. All right. Uh, Kirio is next. That's me. I heal myself right. now. I will heal Chris for four. Ooh. Wow. Told you. Kind of good heal. Your heals are better. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to assume the two of you can handle a little wolf pup there. <laughs> I don't know, man. He just eviscerated me. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a little bit of health. I can take a retaliate. Oh. So I'll be all right. You don't want any of these coins everywhere? Nope. I'm good. Oh, you got the loot no coins <laughs> one, didn't you? Yep. That's what that means. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, well, since I can't move, I don't want to attack that wolf because oh, yeah. it'll retaliate. So instead, I am going to heal myself <laughs> for three. You can bite me, wolf, but I can heal right back up. Yeah, all I did was make me fail my battle goal and I lose this movement. I was going to grab a coin at least. Damn it. Yep, that's all. Um. God, all your cards are like a paragraph. <laughs> yep. Yes, they are. So I'm going to start with the top of uh, Defiance of Death. An attack three, add plus two, and gain an experience if your current hit point value is less than half, which it is. So that's an experience, and then an attack of five on this wolf. Five damage. I take one. And then I'm going to use the bottom of growing rage to move three and if i have fewer hit points than half i can perform an attack at the end of it uh -huh. so I'm gonna go one two three pick up that coin and do an attack this is an attack of two and i gain an experience oh not two experience three damage wolf's dead nice All right, that's it for me. Fucking terror of the wolves. Is yep, gone. those wolves. Yeah. I have to straight up long rest this turn. Because I'm out of cards. Maybe, I, well, yeah. I shouldn't. I said, I don't want to get too far ahead of you, though. Like, open a door with before you're ready to go. Yeah, I forget what that one looks like, but it's Drake City. I know that. It's, yeah, there's Drakes in there. And they spit stuff. They get the range Drakes. Drakes are real nasty. I do have a jump, so I can get past the traps. I don't know if all of you have jumps, though. Nope. All right. Well, I must, I may just move one up and take a coin and just just do nothing this turn mm -hmm. <laughs> for us all to uh, be ready for the next room. Stupid headphone cord. All right, you ready? Yep. Uh, 
I'm straight up moving one forward. Taking <laughs> your coin. That's it. Yeah. Just got curio. I am moving up dose. Just crawling forward. Yeah. Yeah. I do not have any good moves. I think the best one I have is a move four. Mm. All right, so I'm going to long rest, heal two. Get things back. Oh, this ability is... Okay. Uh, can't get rid of reviving aether. Um, uh, Scala is gonna be nice to have. We're gonna get rid of frost armor then. After a long rest, I have all five cards in my hand. All right, the round. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta open this fucking door. This would do. I can't really get up there this turn. <laughs> Jeez. I actually have a bunch of move fours, but that's all I can do is move four. Is it sometimes a good idea to long rest, even if you have cards in your hand? I, like, all I'm doing with my two cards is moving, too. Rarely, because it's technically cutting you down, because every time you long rest, you do burn a card. Right. So, uh, it does shorten your overall longevity for potential short-term gain. It's just... But there might be certain situations where it's worth doing. Yeah, it's just sucky. Turns where all you do is move to. Yep. I can at least heal during these mid turns. I got a really cool card that I don't know if I can ever actually use. It raises my max HP to twenty six, but I still have to like get to twenty six. Wow. Raises your max HP to twenty six. Yep. Jesus. It's a burn. It's a permanent thing. It says you may overheal to a maximum, but your maximum hit point value remains the same for the purpose of all ability effects. But I still have to get the healing up to 26. So it's like, I don't know how I would even do that. Overheal to maximum of 26. Oh, so let's you. So continuously, every turn you heal yourself for three. Oh, is that really what that does? Yeah, for infinity, heal three self, I think. Oh. And then it lets you actually heal up to 26 hit points. But oh, all of your gosh. cards that say you have to be this far injured, you can never get those off again. because Well, and, and once you heal up, Unless because... hurt. Your maximum I mean, hit point stop. value stays yeah. the same. Wait, I'm actually confused on how that works, yeah. So it would, for the for my cards, it would still be the seven because I'm still technically my hit my max is still considered fourteen. Oh. Oh, so well, the ones actually, that say like less than half, then. Yeah. Okay. But I just constantly go up three. That's actually great. Then if if the heal, I always I just assume the heal time. I think because I mean that's what that symbol in the bottom means is that it's ongoing forever. Oops. So I would assume that. You constantly heal three every round, I think. But, yeah, I don't know that character, so I have to look that one up. I'll look it up. Yeah. All right, so ready? Just... Yes. All right, um, I'm going first at 20, so I'm going to 
move four and probably heal you for three. So one, two, three, four. And I'll turn around and heal you for three. Christopher. Okay. Heal for three. Thank you. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, now I'm reading okay. that the heal three is only actually once. Is that is that what we're discovering? It's, it's going to change with the right, with the right move. Yeah, it, yeah, it says oh, the heal God. three happens only once. Yeah, okay. so just, it's the effect on the... Um, I guess that the paragraph part of it is the part that's always ongoing, that you can heal more than your maximum hit points. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to move two. I actually don't burn that card quite yet. And I'm going to long rest next turn. Mm-hmm. I'm out of cards. Okay. So that means we don't want to open the door yet. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you... Well, yeah, I guess not. Well, open it you can open them. the door and just throw down, like, your sex dummy or whatever. <laughs> sex dummy. Try to get the drakes in. Bring them in here. I just don't want to waste too many turns. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I too shall be long resting. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> we both have uh, ten card hands. So. Yeah. Well, I've only got three left. The problem is I'm going to take a turn and then would rest. So my other only option right. right now is to long rest now. Ah. And I've got two cards in my discard pile, so I'd get one card back from long resting. <laughs> when I could do that, I've got reviving ether. I mean, I'll have to get it back eventually anyway. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I'll probably just long rest here too. <laughs> I'll save my stamina potion for after that, and I'll have to. I'll take. Yeah, I'll be having to use my reviving ether here pretty soon. All right, everybody, long resting. Uh huh. All right, let's all long rest. <laughs> I'll take that one. So we all get two HP back, right? Two hit points back, yeah. Okay. One goes in there. I've got four it's cards in my magical. hand. Probably going to drop my Mystic Ally in this room. That's probably, yeah, I think that's a good idea. For sure. All right. I already have four cards in my lost pile now. Uh. I've rested twice. I got hit once with that crit. I had to burn a card, and then I burned my feeling eruption. <laughs> you know, that's oh, a problem in that we have to make it all the way over here, right? No, it sucks. Well, I can. I've all got reviving ether. Does, right? I've They're got that. Do, I've got that weird card that lets me get all my lost cards back. So, Spellweaver's just bizarre. Uh, yeah, and just the, being out of sync with the hand number seems like an actual issue. It certainly seems that way, yeah. Because I'm trying to think if I have one turn here and then another turn and don't use Reviving Aether, rest again, get three cards back, and then that turn I'll have to use Reviving Aether, I think. Yeah. Trying to use it as late as possible to make me last longer. <laughs> right. So you guys are going to just run in there and throw down your allies or whatever? I mean, we all need to charge into this room, I think. Yeah. I've got an invisibility, too, if things are going to come at me. Mm -hmm. Stamina potion. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> come at me. I'm going to try to get my range attack off. Though. 
run in there and actually hit a couple. Although I can't move and summon my ally at the same time. That's a bit of a bummer. Actually, I'll probably do that next turn then. I can move and put mine out. And mine's a bottom action. Mine's a top. <laughs> Sex robot's sounds, always a top. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hello, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go slow. Hopefully nobody blocks me. I forgot to make green at some point, but it doesn't matter. That was like four turns ago. All right, ready? Still no monsters on the board. We've just been crawling through this beginning room. Yeah. Here we go with the 20. All right, I got my move four. One, two, three. The Drakes. God, they're so far away. I'm not, I, don't, I think I'm going to waste my range attack here. So I need to add, uh, what do we got? Well, rending in the Flying Drakes. Spinning okay. Drake. Um, and Rending Drake. Uh oh, Rending Drake gets to go immediately next. Mm hmm. But That's the not, this front one, right? They're not moving and they're not attacking. They're going to shield themselves for two and then buff themselves with a strength. And okay. They're just going to prepare fine. to rip us apart. Yep. All right. Uh, are we okay if I stay where I am? Um, are you, you going to throw your dummy right in front of you? Yeah, I have to. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm not, right, I'm not, gonna be able to, I'm not actually going to be able to attack. Yeah, there you go. At least I can get into the door then. Yeah, and then uh, I will summon my uh, sex robot, otherwise known as the harmless contraption. <laughs> and... He will go right here. Red horns on them make the drakes <laughs> entice the drakes. Sex robot provocatively sticks out <laughs> its hip and goes, eh, 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 Hello, big boy. Do you want to play? <laughs> it's so disturbing that it continues. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's getting more disturbing than the, every time you describe it. More gears are exposed. <laughs> like an eye just like popped out. You get you all I got. two XP for summoning the robot. Yes, I do. All right, so the Drakes uh, put up a shield of two, and they both strengthen themselves for the fight to come. Strength, but is, a, strength is advantage. Gives them advantage on their next turn, yeah. They still got to use on the dummy. Then it's the spitting Drake's turn. They both went slow, and they are, are they both normal? Uh, three normals. Uh, they're going to move plus one and attack minus one. So they are going to move at a four and attack for two, but they have a range of three. And they will... Focus the robot. Yeah. Unless you, well, you guys are the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. So number one, what did I say? It's the movement of four and a range of three. So, so it's gonna to this boulder yeah, here. end up on the boulder and attack the robot for two uh, for nothing. A range miss. A miss. What's this range? A three. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd say she's not in range. And then number three. Three. Right there. Yeah, I'm just going to get on top of the boulders and perch there. Uh -huh. Attack the robot for two. Minus one is one damage to the robot. Aw. I, I have no way of keeping track of that. Uh, You made a copy of uh, dice yeah, for you? I use the dice. Yeah, the regular D6. Dice. I said, I, does it have six life or eight? I you don't go. remember. 
There's a dice. All right. Uh, six six health is what it says. So minus one. Um, I think this one would end up on the trap over here because it can just fly over. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Attack the robot from there. Yep. Three. Yep. Attack. This is uh, what it's here for. Uh, mm-hmm. Two damage to the robot. All right. That's what it's here for. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, Berserker. One, two, three. I can't move any further. Oh, no. Don't stay there, you bastards. Uh, I could use my, my actually I, I can use my boots and go for two more. Is it imperative you get to the spot? Um, if you want me to hit anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll turn. Move, I'll move right here. I'll move. Use the boots. Because I have or, a move of four, but I can't. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to end up on that. Uh, okay. Door space, basically. If I move here, I can attack two of them. Yeah, I'll go here. I feel like I'm playing a dangerous game with this character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this seems to be the way the character was. It's going to be rough as hell. We just need to go super fast next turn and get some kills. Uh, exactly. Okay, and I get to do uh, attack two, range three, target two, pull two. So I'm going to, let's pull some drakes. Yeah, get the spitters up here. Uh, my range is so three. So I can do one, two. This, I can do two of the drakes and pull them right up next to me. So the spitting Spin drakes ones. have a built-in muddle, which didn't matter because the uh, robot doesn't right. attack. And then the rending drakes have a built-in wound. So every time they attack, they wound. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's pull the, the spitting drakes in. So attack of two on spitting drake three. Three damage. And he's pulled right here. Nice. And spitting drake number six. Three. He's pulled right here. I wish we had a push so we could get these rending drakes into the traps. I know. I don't think any of us have that. Yeah. And now I'm sitting here where I don't want to be. All yeah. right. I'm done. You're going to meet some options, though, on my turn. Yeah. So I've got to move four and attack three at range three. One, two, three. And I would rather attack the spitting drakes because the rending drakes have a shield up right now. Wow. So I will attack, I guess, spitting drake number three with my attack of three. Do I have anything that's worth doing? Advantage, jump. Mobilize doesn't seem to be helpful there. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to attack it for three. For four damage, rats quite get it done. And I generate light. That's all. That's the end of the round. E gads. Yeah, we're in it now. God, I really wish I had cold available. Damn it. I could stun all these guys. <laughs> Where's my rat friend? I can't go very fast this turn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I am going to... Well, I don't know how fast I'm... But... Pretty fast. But I'm, I am going to turn on my... Shield. My no-death shield for three hits. That would be most good here, I think. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm going to get hit a bunch. Are you still? Are you staying up there? <laughs> yeah, I'm staying up here. I'm not moving around. That's pizza. <laughs> Yep. Hoping the Tinker moves slightly on there on her turn because otherwise my ally is going back into this other room and probably not doing anything. All right, ready? Yes. Boy, spinning drakes are going <sighs> first. Jesus That's Christ. Unfortunate. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Um, huh, they've got the same card the running drakes do. They shield two, heal two, and strengthen two. That what? sucks. That's some bullshit. All three of them are going to put up a shield of two. They're all going to heal two. So one. Oh my oops, God. right click. 
One, two, one, two. That really sucks. And they all are going to buff themselves. I mean, it's better than being attacked, I guess, but... I guess, but I'm not... I was hoping to like, at least kill them. Kill one of them. I don't know what's going to happen now. Right. So they're not moving. Uh, they're not moving at all. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, and then we start with the Tinker, then the Berserker, then the buffed Drakes are doing their basic move and attack, which is pretty painful. Um. Well, I mean, one of the Drakes is going to go after the robot. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, so I'm going to do my other thing first. So I'm going to do an attack for range three. I will gain an XP for every enemy there targeted and I'm going to create darkness. Hello, be... darkness. <laughs> Nobody make All right. Damn it. So I'm going to do three, six and two. So, oh, wow. That's perfect for that. Mm hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and use my power potion, so it's going to be a uh, attack five. Nice, very nice. So we'll start with number three. And yes, I am aware that he has a shield of two, but oh, it's those an attack assholes. of five. As long as I don't miss, he's dead. Mm. Yeah. I hey. blessed myself. <laughs> eh. uh, which one was that? Uh, that was number three. Okay, that one's definitely dead. Good job. That's my first attack modifier card. Really? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Just straight I keep, heals. I just keep healing y'all. <laughs> uh, number six. Came up with a Same vengeance. Thing is an attack of five. So five minus two is three. One, two, three. And then number two. Same thing. Attack five. Ooh. Seven. So minus two is five. Six, seven. No, he's not shielded. Oh, he's the running drake. He just took all that. Nice. There um, to which I'm not going to move, but I will heal Christopher for one. All right. Oh. Sorry, dear. I'm not moving. You get XP for your ink bomb too. Mm hmm. So I get three XP. Because I hit three of them. Mm -hmm. All right. That was so good. That changes what I was going to do a little bit. Mm. Um, so on this reckless offensive, is your would your interpretation be that if I wanted to target anybody, I would still have to take at least one damage? It says target equals X. Where X is the amount of damage you suffered. But if but if, a, if if an attack never says target, you always assume one. So that's like, if that's true. Don't take any damage. Is it just an attack of? Four? Man, your deck is confusing. Ha! I mean, as rules as written, nothing has to say target one for you to be able to target. Yeah. Um. Let me look that up. That's offensive. Um. Boy, was See the fact. For the top action, if you suffer you know no damage, the action does nothing. This attack also costs double to enhance. You must take at least one damage if you plan to use the attack. So I guess it's specifically uh, because that attack has that on there. You actually would have to suffer one damage to do a target one. All right. Well, I'm feeling so emboldened. Oh, boy. I'm going to do something different. Instead of turning on my no death shield... <laughs> Ooh, I really want to do this. Do I really want to do this? I don't know, boss. Like, I, I might be able to kill the elite though if I do this. If you can, if you can kill the elite, it's going to be a lot better because then you only have. To, and then the other Drake is not even. He's going to attack the robot. Yeah, do uh, it. I'm do doing it. it. I'm doing it. Do <laughs> it. <I'm standing. laughs> Hulk smash. Hey, let's leap forward. I will take that coin. I and will bolt move the berserker to... is a frightening thing. Yep, and I will do two damage to myself. Nope, do two damage to myself to target two creatures, the uh, number six and number two, and do an attack of four on each. All right. Uh, so this is number six. Did it work? Here we go. 
That is six damage with a shield of two. That kills it still. Yeah, it does. Nice. Is that my fire one? Is that just a regular plus two? That was a regular plus two. Oh, that'd be really great if you pulled your fire one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then number two. That is five damage. Slashed his head off too. Nice. Damn, y'all. Show them a shield. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it for me. All right. So this final rending drake here is going to target the robot with an attack of three. Four damage. That kills the robot. <laughs> that robot did oh, exactly what it did. It has advantage also, so... I guess. Well, oh. well, it doesn't matter. You doesn't killed matter. the ribbit. Yeah. <laughs> robot Poor is, ribbit. Is... Yeah, that robot did exactly what it needed to do. With yeah, that it tanks. <laughs> those crucial first couple of fights. Well, Jesus, I had a AOE that I don't even really need oh. now. Do I even want to get my Mystic Ally out at this point? <laughs> Seems weird. I don't, I don't think so. I, at this point, I don't know if I would, I would say move instead. Let's yeah. Let's these guys this next turn. So what I can do is move and heal. Yeah. All right. I'll just, turn, we'll just, we'll just do the on. opposite of what I was going to do. Then I was going to do that as a move two and then a heal three. So I'm going to go um, one, two. Not there. And Chris, I'm going to heal you for three. All right. A lot of use out of my aid from the ether. My poor robot. You guys' this healing abilities are really coming in handy on this guy. I mean, we've kind of had to switch to that tactic, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to long rest here. That it's is the, weird because the the, the, the the tiefling was like, if he ever got hit, it was like he was going to die. So yeah. Being hit. And you actually like have the hit points hit for a it. Mm -hmm. Very odd. All right. What am I going to do? One, two, three. Oof, they got a lot of health. I'm already liking this person better than the Mind Thief, though, for our party makeup. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, we, we needed... We needed this badly. Should I target the Spitting or the Rending Drake? Uh, going to attack me anyway, but... Yeah, probably. I think the rending is generally more dangerous. It can do three damage and wound. Spitting Drake, well, also does three damage and muddles. <laughs> okay, I, I'll, I'm going to attack the rending. That's... I'm long resting. Okay. You know what? I can stun that rending drake. I'm going to do that. Okay. Oh, didn't add it that time. <laughs> Weird. Did I not end the round last time? I thought I did. Um, so 9, 18, uh, 89, and 13. So we've got Chris, then the Rending Drake, then uh, Heather, and then the Spitting Drake. Spitting Drake's going to stun? Wow. What is the Rending Drake, like, what does that, like, cyclical one mean? Minus one, minus one, minus one, and then there's, like, the symbol, recycle symbol. Yeah, oh, it just refreshes its cards. It, it tells you to shuffle its discard into its draw pile, but the uh, game does it automatically. This this mod does it automatically. Well, that's kind of a actually. I, okay, I'm actually going to attack the spinning drake. Then I don't want to get stunned, so I'd rather stop him from attacking altogether. Okay. So I'm gonna move one, um, and turn on retaliate one. 
And then I'm going to do the top of Unbridled Power, attack of two, and stun this spitting drake. Four damage to the drake. Does he still have a shield? Mm -mm. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, and that spitting drake is stunned. Oh, you stunned him? Yes. Because he was going to stun somebody else with his attacks. So uh, I, I, I didn't know you I could stun somebody. Right. Nice. Yeah. I just bopped him on the head. The marketing. That's going to cancel out his strength in turn then. That's good. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yep, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, Rending Drake is going to try to attack for two, then move three, then attack for two again. So there's nobody in melee range. Um, he's going to target you. Yeah. So you've got the lowest initiative between you and me. Yep. Uh, we, can so. we can choose to either put him between you and me or where you are now. Or right there, yeah. Uh, let's put him where I'm, where I was, right, right next to me. Okay. Give you guys a little bit more room to move up. So then he is going to attack you for two, so two damage, and he's going to wound you. Oh. He takes one damage. Well, retaliate. Okay. And wound is the one you take more damage when. Get damage. Did you already do is retaliate? I did. Oh, sorry. Uh, wound means the beginning of your turn, you take one damage. Oh, shit. Until you are healed next. That's that's the worst one. Okay. Uh, then Kyrio. Okay. I don't remember what I was going to do. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do... Attack two, range three, and poison. So on the rending drake. <coughs> excuse me. He's in range three. So three damage plus poison. Um, and then just because we need to keep moving forward, I'm going to use my bottom as a move two, and I'll go ahead and use my boots to make it a move four. Mm. Okay. Um, and then the spinning drake is stunned. It's mm. turned, so stun and strengthen goes away. That is the end of that round. Uh, I long rested, so with four cards in my discard pile. Did I gain an experience from that one of those cards? I feel like I did. No, I didn't. All right, what do I want to do here? So the Rending Drake is poisoned, so he will take an additional damage. Yeah. That's good. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go terribly fast, but... Seems like you're pretty well built for speed. All right. Now it worked again. What the hell? It's so weird. <laughs> Gee, Spinning Drake has some really low initiative cards. What the hell? Yeah. I guess it winds up some powerful attacks. All right. Uh, Curio, our first. Hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do an attack two, range three, target two. Nice. I know one of them will be at disadvantage. 
Um, because what kind of these are just a damage trap? What kind of trap is this? Um, that's a good question. I have to see. We're level two. Seems to be. Let's see. Level two. It is a four damage trap. All right. So actually, I'm going to take my move first. I'm going to set off the trap. Do it. Mm. I can take it. I can take it. Um, <laughs> and then I'll do the attack two, range three, target two, since I will not now have disadvantage on either mm. of them. <laughs> All right. So we'll do uh, number four first. So an attack two plus one for the poison makes three. Plus one makes four. Makes a dead drake. And then the spitting one is attack two. Get rid of this trap for you. Plus one makes three. Three damage? Mm hmm. It's the best I could do, folks. Should be able to follow up with that. All right. So I'm going to do a move four jump on the bottom of reviving ether and go one, two, three, four. Oh, boy. Yep. And then I will turn around and shoot the last drake with my flashing burst to do an attack three, range three, and generate light. So that will kill that drake. Well, you guys did so good that I don't have anything to do with my turn. Just move around. Uh, yeah. So you take a damage from the wound first. Yes, I do. Um, I, I'm going to end up taking a long rest this next turn, just so you know. Yeah, I could either do my stamina potion. I really want to take one more turn and then do a long rest, but... We're going to lose one here, so I'm just going to move here. I'm take farther than you anyway. I don't dilly-dally back there too long, Berserker. I, yeah, well, I can, unfortunately, I didn't take any options that aren't going to damage me. Yeah. All right, I know yep. the mistake I made last time was opening this door when we were all not ready for that because there's like a fucking rending drake yeah. like right there. Right. So I don't want to open this door too soon. I'm going to long rest also this turn. So I think I might go ahead and do that then. Yeah. We'll all just prepare and the next turn we'll... <laughs> Well, if y'all long this. rest, I could take my final turn and then long rest while y'all go into the room. Yeah. And deal with what's in there. Yeah, right, long rest. I'm going to long rest with two cards in my discard pile, get one back, but then I can use Reviving Ether that turn. <laughs> the next wow. turn. I mean, I've made it this long without doing it. That's pretty... That is, that's, yeah. I'm going as far as I can. I thought you had to have two rest. cards in your hand. Uh... Because then, at the start of your turn, you, you would be a, out. You have to have at least two cards in your discard pile. Uh huh. But if you don't have two cards to play at the start of your turn, I you're will. Because when I long rest, I'll have to burn one from my discard and then get one back, and then I have two cards in my hand. I've got one in my hand now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've I've got it down to the wire, but. <laughs> 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 and I do have my stamina potion still. I also still have my cloak of invisibility, so I could roll with that if I need to. Open that door. Oh, sorry. I don't want that. What on earth? I'll, 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 I'll grab it. <laughs> Half my discard pile. <laughs> you can accidentally hit the deal card, the deal uh, yep. thing, and it gives everybody cards. Honey, blow your freaking nose. Ugh. Put my jacket back on. It's getting cold down here. All right. Um, I haven't actually picked cards yet. Huh. Oh, this is my long rest. That's why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Tinker, are you ready? You're the only so, one. Yep. I don't. I don't actually get two health back. I just get rid of the wound, right? 
No, you'll still get your two health. It's only poison health. you wouldn't get back. Correct. And I get rid of the wound? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. That's why wound is way better than poison. Ah. Uh, um, because I mean, you at least get it back. Yeah. You would still take the wound damage at the start of your turn, though. Oh, I would. Okay. Yeah. So technically, you take the wound, and then you would do the long rest. And then you long rest. Okay. Yeah. One, two. All right. Now I will be long resting. Mm. Uh. Heal. Four, range three. Who needs it most? Uh, Chris can have four. Ooh. Wow. Lordy. I did not know she was that good of a healer. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep me topped up here. Yes, give me strength. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. I'm okay. about- I'm about to use double losses, kids. <laughs> uh, are you going to go in that room? Are you going to open the door? No, not this turn. What are you going to do? Uh, use Reviving Ether and then summon my Mystic Ally. Okay. So I can, can I open the door? Uh, can you make it this far? I can move six with my boots. Oh, shoot. I don't and... know if you actually want to open the door yet. but uh, uh, We I'm... need to, so... I'm All long right. resting next turn, so... Next turn? Mm-hmm. I'll I'll have all my shit ready to go when you open that door because I'll have user vibe okay. there. I'll probably open the door and next turn I'll probably pull my then I'll pull my uh death Yeah, so, Do that like fast. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of that round. And then I'm gonna go super slow here to get my combo off. So I'm gonna open the door, then I'm gonna t- make some take some wild pot shots into the room. Ah, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I think these are like thrown axes is probably the theme. But mm-hmm. It's target two and you I don't know I don't know how pull works though. Maybe they're attached to the chains. Alright, Bazaka. Alright, I'm gonna use my boots. Move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stand on that door. Now here's the thing: we just need to focus room. on getting to the exit points. Yes, very true. You I can, suppose. you but can get our way. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I, I, you can fall down as long as you're on an exit point. If you're not on an exit point, we lose. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't matter if you if you die while you're on an exit point. You just have to be on the exit point. I hear mm-hmm. you, but Berserker must smash. No, I'm not talking yeah. to you. I'm talking to him. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm um, just standing behind him as long as he's there. Captain and No Cards. I know. I do actually Hate this class. have two targets in range of three, surprisingly. So I'm going to do... Oh, wait. I got to... Let me... You want to see what they're going to do? <coughs> uh, draw that one, and I draw... That one. So after your turn, the spitting drakes are going to move up and attempt to do an AOE attack. Oh, which I don't is think that before you. That is before mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Good. So they won't catch your Mr. Gal. I am. Um... Nope. And it's an attack minus one, so it's only two damage. But they're okay. The rending drakes are going to move. Uh, Children, I'm about to take a lot of damage. Attack. Just yeah. <laughs> Well, right, you do have this boulder here. right That's here, so could. only one of them. Yeah. Only one, I think. Only one of the running drakes will get to you, but the spinning drakes have range, so they're gonna be a bigger pain in the ass. But like I said, I'm gonna throw my death shield up next next turn. Yeah, so as long as I don't die from these attacks, I'll be all right. As long as I get that shield up before they go next turn, too. That's right, exactly. All right, so attack two on both the drakes. Here is Drake number six. Two damage, and he's pulled. Here, I guess it's a pull of two, so I guess he's pulled right, right there. I don't, I don't know exactly how pull works. It Technically, have you have to. I think it's only to here because you have to be able to have fewer hexes between. So this would not result okay. in fewer hexes. Gotcha. I don't think. Okay, and then Drake number five for three damage, and he's pulled right here. 
All right, so the spitting drakes, they're all normal. They've got a move of zero, so they're going to move three. They have a range of three and an attack of two. So, boom, boom. You go one, two, three. <laughs> yep. So he's going to attack for uh, two. So two damage. Okay. And then it's a move of... Three. I'm glad, I'm glad you really taught me up, Heather, because mm -hmm. uh, after all this happens, I'm not sure how much I'm have left. If he goes here, one, two, three is in range for the attack of two. Uh, one damage. Okay. And this one's going to go one, two. Now, here's the question. Is this within line of sight? My guess is yes, but... Yes. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sticking out of the door there. If any bottom part of, of that hex can hit your hex without hitting a wall. Yeah, bottom of his hex, absolutely. Uh, well, I mean, assuming the rock doesn't block line of sight. Then no, it does not. Yeah. Obstacles do not. All right, so same thing. Attack two. Two damage. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see the numbers on how much you're, how much, like, uh, tank. We need that, like, hot screen at the end where it shows how much damage <laughs> yeah, you've tanked, and it's yeah. pretty goddamn impressive, I bet. All right, Elite Rending Drake goes first. It's going to have a move of three and an attack of six. What? It's a base Seriously? attack of it is a base attack of five, and it's got a plus one attack right now. Oh lord! Doom! So doom! He's, got, he's actually got a chance. Doom he's also going to wound you when he attacks. Uh, yeah. Uh, would you like to do the honors of this one? It's an attack of six. Sure. Where's the thing at? It's right in the middle this up here. Fun. Yep. Oh, oh my God. no! <laughs> Fuck you! Eight damage. Uh, gotta burn gotta a card. Burn yeah, it's actually all right. I've got. I, I seem to have enough. The nice thing is, by burning a card, you. I believe you negate. I think you negate the whole thing. Anything but a status. You oh, so you just still get wounded? I thought that's how we played it. Yeah. Oh, I need to refresh. Let's burn. She's one card to lose from your hand. Um, to negate the damage. Any additional effects to the attack are still apply. You are correct, so you're still wounded. All right. Only so negates the damage. No damage, but I... You are wounded. Take a wound. All right. And then the other one um, can't get, nice. I guess, still try to get He's closer to you. Yeah, and move yeah. here. That's all it does. That's terrifying. Yep. Uh, on my turn, I am going to recover all my lost cards as well as summon my mystic ally. That becomes... Active. This all goes into my hand. Draw, 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 draw. I've got a hand again, and then that one is <laughs> very much lost. I made dark, and I gained two XP for summoning the ally. Oops. That's me, and then Tinker rests. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a hell of a room here, folks. Uh -huh. <laughs> a little more nervous. Yeah. Hell of a I, room. I can't go incredibly fast. I need you to go incredibly fast. <laughs> All right, I've got my burn cards available now. I've got I've got nukes available. Okay. But right. uh, this I can't really get into this room very well either. Two, three, one, two, three. I have to move up just to hit two of them. Let's see how this goes. Whoa. One, two. Actually, impelling eruption is a range of four. One, two, three, four. How much health do you have, Chris? All right, I'm going to be able to completely top you off. Ha! <laughs> okay. Completely top you off. <laughs> It turns out you're an amazing healer. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that about you. And it will only cost me one burn card. Uh, 
It's all of the crap that I've picked up in our journeys. Mm. Yeah. Turn into healing potions, healing mists. Um, so I think I need to use some nukes here on these guys. You think? Mm -hmm. It's time. Well, everything. Not holding back. All right, ready? Mm hmm. Excellent. God damn it. Oh, wow. Well, you heal me so great, but I'm literally going to go after. How I told you I need to go in credit. 31 um, last. Yeah, these guys are jonesing for a fight. All right, Chris, you I get. I appreciate your healing more than ever. <laughs> Take oh. care, Chris. I forgot you are muddled also, Chris, because all these spitting drakes muddle. Oh, okay. Have some more status effects. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Throw it on the pile. Uh, you get eight health. What? Oh that will top me off entirely. How in the hell? Five here yeah. and three there. Jesus Christ. But wow. I get and I get two XP for doing that. <laughs> wow. One is a lost card. Hope you're happy. That's funny. I'm about she to just take this entire room. She so. just changed her whole like character build into just pure <laughs> heal. And it's the only thing keeping uh, us going. Respect and the healer. All right. That's that's all I got. So on my turn, my mystic ally goes first. And it's got a move two, range two, and attack of three. So it doesn't have to move, it can just attack the elite Drake for an attack of three. And it got a Ooh, bliss. That's awesome. I need to take that on my deck. Um, get rid of that elite. That, so that's that will... six damage. Yep. Oh, Mr. Kelly. I don't know if I've been pulling those blesses out. I've been bad about that. Well, oh. that's their first one. Is that my first one? Okay. I haven't either, actually. I've only um, had one. You've only had one. And then I will. Let's just treat the bottom ones and move two and move up a little bit just to move up. And uh, I will use Impaling Eruption, targeting the back one, and then I can target because one, two, three. I can't hit more than that. So it's going to hit both Drakes with Impaling Eruption with an attack of three. Don't miss. Uh, mm -hmm. I know. I could use my goggles, would guarantee. Yeah, I'm going to use my goggles. It means I can't miss now because I have advantage. You draw two missed cards, or there's only one miss. There's only one miss, naturally, yeah, ah. unless you're cursed. So, advantage attack three against number six is two damage. That's enough to kill him. Thank Great. you, Mystic Ally. <laughs> then, advantage attack three against number five is a four. That kills that one. Awesome. I'm feeling much better about this tanking. <laughs> no. Surely, three Drakes can't do 14 damage. Yeah. And that is worth two XP. That is an earth generated. And that is a loss. Now it is the rending drakes, which are all dead. So that's good. And we go to the spinning drakes, which are not moving. They're going to attack for three. They're going to try to multi attack if they can. It's their range. But since they're not moving, I don't think they can. They have a range of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, they're all in range of you. So I didn't move up. All right. They're all three going to attack you, and unfortunately, the first one's going to poison you. <laughs> so right. enjoy that. I, I attack of three. All the status effects. This <laughs> yeah. Crap. Welcome to your one. lot with this group. Yeah. All right. Number one, attack three against you is four damage, and you're now poisoned. Okay, so that's plus one on the rest of them. Correct. So now it is an attack of four. Okay. Five damage. Five, okay. And now attack of four. I miss. I Ooh, all right. Nice. <laughs> I needed every bit of that healing. <laughs> yes, you did. Here's the fun part. Next time you get healed, it only takes away the poison. That's true. 
But now I'm, it also, is a... going to, I'm also throwing up my death shield now, though. So okay. Well, now it is your hits, turn. <laughs> will not kill me. So you don't got to worry about healing me at least next turn. How does it work on the next three sorts of damage to you that would reduce you to less than one hit point? So only damage that kills you. It would kill me. Yep. Okay. So you actually want like huge damage to come at you. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. And I'm, you know, I've got five health and poison. So the, the next turn, I'll probably eat all those attacks and that's yeah. the whole thing. I've got my other AOE. I can uh, do some damage and here. Beca- and because they're, we killed the other guys, I'm not actually going to move. Or, well, no, I can't even get to the Drakes anyway, so it doesn't happen. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn on Death Shield. <laughs> so that goes in the uh, act. Nope, that goes active. Oh, it does go active. You're right. And then you have to put a little marker on there to mark, because every time it goes off, you gain XP. Yeah. That's what the little circles are. I don't know if you've had one of these before. Where you have to move um, the thing. Only the uh, the mental buffs, not these, not these like shield things. Okay, but yeah, the way this works, you have to keep track of it with a marker on top of each. Uh, it should be in the little tracker tokens here. Oh, and you put it over dice. the. I can just turn on three, or you use three different tokens. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 you put one token on the first one, and then as it happens, you slide it over, and then as you reveal them, you gain that XP. Oh. I see. Yeah, so then it so you want it to go off because then you'll gain that experience. And then once it happens three times, then it goes in your loss pile. I see. And so that's it. where does it say experience? I don't actually don't see that. In this in the circle is that experience symbol, that one. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Yes. Because there'll be some that have like zeros and ones only on some of them and that kind of thing, and that's how you know if you get experience or not. Okay. All right, there's the end of that round. All right, I'm running in and attacking. That's what I'm going to be doing. So, mm-hmm. it, on these drakes, it doesn't matter. Well, they you said they actually are smart enough to move back if they have range attacks, right? They will move backwards to not get disadvantage, uh, yes. So Enemies will prioritize sure. that. Yeah. Yeah, Artelia is not going to help you here. One, two, three. All right, I can get up to him. It's fine. I can do my other nuke this turn. I can heal Chris again. <laughs> uh, let me try to go try go slow then. Let the Drakes attack me and then heal me. Are you moving up? I am moving up. All right, I won't be able to do both, but I can get close and then heal you later. Then Wait. heal me next turn. Okay. Let, let me let me eat these attacks. Heal remember, me, my death shield. remember, mm-hmm. whatever heal you get, it's only gonna take your poison away. Well, I'm hoping that I have turn... a move to heal one, dude. Ah, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Seriously, I, I'm hoping that. We can at least kill one or two of these drakes this turn. So it actually, the heal will be. Do you need me to go fast or slow for my nuke for the drakes? I am going to go uh, very. uh... My only concern is I go fast, run up there and nuke them, but I don't kill anybody and then they all target me. (laughs) Right, exactly. So go slow. I can take a little bit of damage, I guess, but. Go slow. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go very fast. Okay. So unfortunately, I, I can't go medium. I'm either going pretty slow or pretty fast. I'm gonna go pretty fast, but not very. Fast. <laughs> it's like the vague. I know. Like quarter one fast or not that fast. I'm. I'm gonna go quarter one fast, but just barely. Okay, I can take that. I can go. Am I still muddled, or is that over now? That's not over. Uh, it ended last turn, yeah. You didn't attack. All right, ready? Yes. Excellent. Oh, good. Excellent. They're not going till 32. Fantastic. You forgot to take the rending drakes off. Oh, I did, because I didn't delete them. That's why. Shoot. That's all right. Ignore the rending drakes. <laughs> so, yeah. Curio's first. All right, I have a uh, move four, but it's going to become a move six. Oh, boy. Like, get three all assholes, two, oh, three, boy. Four, five. She's going up. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a stun range three target two and gain two XP. Oh. So the two. Wait, I thought you were healing him. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's no he told me not to. Okay. Yeah, stunning them is actually going to, yeah. Just as good. So I'm going to stun number one and number two. Uh, 
Um, nice. Uh, okay. All right. I'm going to use the bottom of Growing Rage. Move three. One, two, three. And if I have fewer than half my hit points, that's why I don't... <laughs> it's almost sometimes a better idea not to heal me. <laughs> I have less, less than half my hit points, I get to do special stuff. Um, do to do an attack two and gain an experience point. Um, and I will attack Drake number two <laughs> for no damage. Mm. All right. Um, and then I'm going to take two damage onto myself to do an attack for target two. Jesus. And I'm attacking targets one and two. So that's a four. Um, this is number two. Four minus one is three. That's not great. And number one. That's eight damage. That one is donezo. Wow. Sliced in half. And that's it for me. Nice. All right, so my Mystic Ally goes first, and she has a move to range two. One, two. Unfortunately, nobody's in range. Is that it? Move. Yep, move two, range two. Uh, and then I've got a move four, and then my fire orbs. Uh, I'll go one, two, three, and take this coin. Ah. Hmm. And unleash the fire orbs. Attack three, range three, target three. Uh, so obviously just target those two. I don't have anything to boost that. I could throw, well, it's already stunned anyway. I could throw a net on top of one of them, but... Hmm. I don't know how much that's going to matter, so <laughs> that's never really come in handy for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, attack of three on Drake number two is four damage. Attack three on number six Whoa. is six damage. Nice. And that generates fire again. Two XP, and that is a, another loss. You better have enough cards to get to the end. I yeah, I've still got a stamina potion, but I do need to start making my way over there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start working that direction. Gotta start working that direction for see, sure. You see, this is why I was harping earlier uh, because I knew he I'm would not aware. pay attention. I'm on this shit. <sighs> uh, and then the spinning Drake one is stunned. Number six is going to move four with range three and attack two. So it doesn't have to do anything. It's going to target. Berserker is the closest one. So it's going to be. Kill me! Yeah, attack of two plus one for your poison is attack of three. Minus one is two damage. Sorry, boss. I actually take the two damage. (laughs) Yes, you do. Living on the edge. (laughs) Just right on the edge. That is the end of that round. <laughs> One health with a poison cutter. Um, I will go ahead and drink my stamina potion. I will take a short rest and get the cards and back. get my two cards back because I need to actually move over there Space bar. Space bar like gets you all the way out. Oh, oh yeah. Look at the whole thing. Yeah, I've been hitting that a couple times. Like, whoops. All right. And this one's done. We're off now. Once again, uh, this time do, don't heal me. I actually want to take both <laughs> these hits because I get my experience. That's true. Actually, yeah. If they don't die before. <laughs> If they don't die before, exactly. Which they very well might. They fast because we're all gonna yeah. let loose. Let loose. The Kraken. (laughs) 
Now, could I... Does it say attacks? Three sources of damage. So I have, if I have an ability that does damage to myself... That's a source of damage. That is a source of damage. Yeah, right. it doesn't say it doesn't say attack. It's a, it's a source of damage. So if you could do something to yourself that would reduce it, I would allow it. Yeah. Otherwise, it would say on the next three like attacks that result in you taking damage or something. You know. Yeah. All right. This is a weird character. <laughs> Oops! I just clicked remove player on your shit. Don't touch anything. On me. Yep. Okay. The hell did you do? Hopefully it comes back. Uh, I did. It put everything in my... Oh, shit. It that... reset everything. Fuck. Damn it, Bunzel. Yeah, that was my screw-up. Seriously! Well, let's see. Uh, I don't remember which cards were <laughs> on there. God damn it. Also, it gave me the giant cards again. Like... Like Heather had. For the modifier? Yep. Yeah, if you look down below, those are the giant cards. Weird. Wait, are you streaming this live on YouTube? No, I'm just recording. Oh, well. I was going to go back and watch the stream and see if I could figure out what cards Chris had, but you know. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Defiance of Death was on. Oh, yeah, this is so my memory. bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you sorry, though? Yeah, Are you I, am. I, did, I, did, I did have five coins, but it did save my five coins. Why is it? Okay. Is it up here? Oh, shit. Character map was not locked down. It's like the one awful button I could push. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate there, 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 there exists a button that you can press that just fucks everything up. Yeah. We can now hit the button to just toss the table over. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing a card. Oh, no, I've got two cards up there. Okay, so I've got two cards up there. One, one two, three, four. It put whatever was in your sidebar, too, I think, in your hand. Maybe. Sort of, but I'm still missing cards. I've only got 11, and I should have like 14 or 15 total. I know this one was not in my hand. Oh, boy. I know this one wasn't in my hand. Uh, this one was also not in my hand. I just see the equivalent of like reaching across the table and shoving all your shit on the floor in like one yeah. big gap. Like, oh god. <laughs> you were the cat in this situation. It was a cat. I think, I, I think the cards that I didn't have in my hand are the ones that got saved. The rest got like lost. This was in the loss. All these were in the loss. So the oh, ones it, that got it put lost... them in here. It put them in your modifier deck. That's why it's bigger. Okay. So these are all the cards that either I had lost come into the the uh the mission with so this was a loss this was a loss this was a loss i think this one was too this one i, didn't... I wonder if that's why it this screwed one. up the car the modifiers before because it's putting for some reason cards in one of the piles into your like superfluous modifier deck ah yeah that was a problem Heather had, is it did that by packing it up. So I believe... So the blesses are still in, we're still in my hand. I'm going to put those back in. Oh, that's a giant. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Yeah, I think this one's screwed up because it currently has, like, bigger cards in it. Right. Okay, I don't know if my actual deck, my actual draw deck is correct, but... I was hoping to end up deleting some of your cards, huh? If they were in that modifier deck, that big one. Hmm? Because it put I, some of... I got all my cards out of that. Okay, good. Yeah, 
18. I think that's right. Attack modifier stun. That's not right. Oof. Okay. It messed up my, my, the attack modifiers. It may have mixed them up. Can you just regenerate the attack modifier thing? This deck is mostly your advanced one. You switch the two. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, this should exactly be the advanced one. Yeah. Take the other one. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull it. Yeah. You're right. This is the advanced one. And put the rig down at the bottom. Why yeah. would you do that? All right, so let me pull this I one I think off. what we're learning is don't hit that remove player button because it's <laughs> it's it's reshuffling things around, too. Yeah. That shouldn't yeah. be shuffling. I wonder if that's what you did last time and why mine got so fucked up. That's what up. I'm saying, yeah, because we're learning now that it's not. It used to work correctly, but not, right now it's definitely not. Except it's still giant. I don't know. Do you pull the action. class cards out of here? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, I can generate a, a new uh, two then. I'm not sure if it... Just, gener that. just generate a whole new rate. Like, can you generate just a, a new uh, modifier deck? Yep, with number two. And I'll just add... With, with what? Uh, for player number two, yeah. Yes, yes. All right, so this, is a, this is a fresh one. A fresh one, okay. I'll just redo the stuff I did, which is remove negative ones, remove two negative ones. All right, so at the end of this game, nobody hit remove player because we yeah, don't want to jack don't that up. Hit that. Yep. Add the, the blesses back in. Definitely shouldn't be doing that. Add the fire plus twos back in. Where's the other fire plus two? That's it. I was about to apologize for how long this is taking, but I remember this was Eric's fault. This is my fault. <laughs> totally my fault. fault. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, please. I'm trying to find the other plus two fire one, and I can't find it. Uh, was that the one you dragged into the one I that we got rid of? Maybe. Search plus two, yeah, it might be. So I might need the the my plus two fire and my advanced ones. Can we just delete this one and gen generate a new uh, advanced sure. one? Yeah. So keep this plus two. Let's delete all of this stuff down here. Uh, actually, let's just delete all of this stuff and generate a new advanced one, and I can fresh new advanced deck. Yeah, then I can pull the plus two fires out of. It. Right there. So delete this one right yeah, here in the middle. Delete that. Yep. Okay. Plus two fire. Where's the, there? Plus two fire. All right. I think I'm. I think I'm back up. Back in business. My sincerest apologies for fucking all of that up. <laughs> mm hmm One, two. Let's see. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Nine ten. All right, I'm back in business. Go. All right. Uh, so what do we need to do? Just start the round. Yep. I don't remember where we now, were. I remember what they were going to do. Yep. <laughs> uh, Curio, first one's again. Oh, that's me. Okay. Well. Uh, I'll just do an attack two, range three. It'll technically poison, but I have a feeling it's going to die. Yeah. It definitely did. Or two. Yep. Definitely did. I'm just going to move forward one. That's it. Okay. I am next. My mystic ally cannot move. It's only going to move of two. Oh, yeah. It's just stuck there. I am <laughs> going to do a move four. One, two, three, four. I'll be right back. And turn around and shoot that Drake with the top half of Frost Armor to do an attack two and use an element for the first time in this game. Yeah. Uh, consume the fire to do an attack of three and gain XP. So 
Attack three, attack four, kills that Drake. All right. All we gotta do is leave now. All we gotta do is leave. I'm on my way. Uh, yep, Drake's dead. If I can't attack, can I actually even do the damage? To um, do I have to like actually do the attack to? to... That's another excellent question. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do it. You've posed mystery. a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I've never played this class before, even though I played fifty air, games bro. of Gloomhaven. So I haven't had to look any of your cards up. Um, Instead, I'm just going to move two and take a coin. It's a different. I mean, I, I would think you could. I'm, like, I'm generating the hit, the attack, even though I don't. You know, you wouldn't be able to attack. Yeah, I, I think you would be able to still suffer the damage. You would just suffer the damage and not be able to attack. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna take one damage and not take that damage and gain an experience. Yep. Well, the only bad thing is your berserker doesn't seem like it's very good at gaining XP. No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I'm not using any, a lot of my burn. Uh. Looks like most of them are burn cards. Okay. I pretty much have to use mine. All right, that's the end of that round. And just got to hightail it out of here. Yeah. Which I can do. Not using my invisibility cloak at all. I can do both the I can do both of the last remaining uh points of damage. Nice next turn. And then at that point, if I trip and fall, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you're safe now. I think at this point we can probably call it that we win. That's true. The only difference is if anybody can generate XP, which Chris just said he can get some. Uh, if you can generate any XP without uh, attacking. Yeah, I can. Or if you want to grab any of the coins, too. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I can generate some XP before. You're an eyes, uh, you're an eye gold, really synchronized. Other <laughs> was to get as many coins, and yours was oh wow, not get coins. Mine was not to get hurt, and I did so well for most of the dungeon, except most for that one it. hit at the very beginning of the wolf. I've been in almost full tell health. You, man, the fucking wolves are like my least favorite enemy in this. Game. They I literally the the character I'm playing right now in Gloomhaven. I changed his last name to Wolf's Bane after ah. a after a scenario happened where I drew like two misses and just fucking like <laughs> rage at these wolves in this first room of whatever scenario we were on. It was awful. Irio first once again. Okay. So uh one ally within range three may recover one lost card. That will get me two XP. Recover a lost card? Yeah. Wow. Uh, we'll say you, because I just want the XP. Okay. I'm just looking a bit near mine, actually. Help me at all. That's all I can do. All right. Technically, my ally moves up. Actually, no, it doesn't. It stays. There's no enemies. There's no enemy, yeah. Yep. And then I just move up here and don't do anything else. Say, come on, everybody, dragons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I will move. This one's pretty cool. Move four plus X, where X is the amount of damage you choose to suffer. So I'm going to move. So I'm going to take two damage, move six. One, two, three. I'm just going to zigzag. That does still count as I, one source of damage, though, for the purposes of your you're thing. Right, it does, yes. Yeah. And then when I get there, well, actually, I'm not sure if I can do this one. It says attack three, and then underneath it, it says you may suffer. 
do I have to have attacked to get that second part? That might be different because that comes after the attack in small print. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can't do that one. I'll just take the experience from. But I'm not sure again. I need to look up a lot of your characters' things <laughs> or make you look it up because I don't know yeah. all of these cards I've had to have questions on. So now I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, if I do a loot two action that gives me an XP, but I do it far enough away that I can't loot anything. Do I still get the XP? I think that one is allowed because loot just gives you the option of looting everything in the range. So, okay. yes, I think that one so you're will. Still, you're still doing yeah. it even if, right. even if you don't actually pick anything up. Even if you're not up. actually picking anything up, yeah. All right. So, after my short rest, these are the cards I have left. Specific so. edge case for you to <laughs> I don't want to actually loot. We're also kind of like bending Ooh. the rules here just to get it. I mean that's fine. That's yeah. This is a unique scenario because most of most of them end when you finish all the enemies. So right, we do get a chance yeah. to get some last minute experience here. So then I would have to get rid of two cards. So we'll just put this one. God, there I wish this were my other there. class, my physical game, because he's got a heal that gives experience. So I could just sit here and heal for uh, yeah. turns and turns and turns. Right. And then that coin is three away from me. One, two, three. All right. Then I do the loot two to get one more XP, and that's it. This should also be a loss. All right. And then uh, it would take me one more turn and I could get to the exit. Yeah, but at this point, we could probably call it. I don't yeah. think anybody else has anything to do. Yeah. yeah, I think we can call it there. There we go. Completed. We did it. Pretty solid. Yay. Too. Yeah. Wants to read our conclusion. I'll read it. Let's see. Everything within you wants to stop, to fall over and rest in the snow, but you know you wouldn't get up. You know you would get torn to pieces by giant red claws. So you press forward beyond all reason until finally the drakes stop pursuing. We've murdered those drakes. There's no drakes pursuing us. That's no. right. Yeah. <laughs> and the mountain summit is in sight. The wind calms as you approach the peak. It is a nice change from the torrent of biting pain that came before. The air is thin, but you are above the clouds now, and so the weather is relatively peaceful. It makes it very easy to see the giant winged lizard perched atop a jagged boulder. Welcome to my mountain, intrepid adventure. <laughs> a gravelly voice booms forth from the creature, surprising you with its eloquence. I hate to back you into a corner, but now that you have come to face me face to face, your options are unfortunately limited. I am not particularly hungry at the moment, so I could be convinced to let you live if you agree to help me in a small matter. A group of Savas subdued me in my sleep and removed one of my flame clans. <laughs> that sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Not as aphrodisiac. I'm a half a man. <laughs> I can't live like this. I cannot let this but insult go unpunished and would greatly appreciate you taking it back from their city, killing as many of them as you can in the process. The drake clacks its claws against its stone perch in anger. Um, it's another quest. If you, or if you wish to be cliche, the creature says with a sigh, you could simply attack me, slay the dragon, slay the princess, save the princess and all. Except I have no princess, and I am not a dragon, just a drake who has lived a long time and does not wish to end his life today. So if you do attack me, I will fight back, and you will most assuredly. Dragon! Yeah! <laughs> not only do you want to kill a dragon, the dragon's a threat to the children. A uh, threat to children. <laughs> So we unlocked 33 and 34, and we gained the party achievement, the Drake's Command. All right. What are our spoils of war? Um, uh, nothing that I can see. Yeah, we just get uh, three. Uh, every gold is worth three. I got zero. Every coin is worth three gold, and we get a bonus XP of eight in addition to whatever you earned. Sweet. So I got two checks for mine. Oh, yeah, and battle goals if you got them. Because I am indigent. Indigent. <laughs> Loot no money tokens or treasure overlay tiles during the scenario. Uh, 
Uh, That's another perk. I got 19 experience. I got 20. Really? Damn. Uh, how much extra do we get on top? Eight. Eight. So I got 13. That's not bad. Right? <laughs> I don't know. 15. 15. Um, what did I say? 19? Yeah. Six. I'm also going to level up to three, by the way. Nice. And I did get the check mark. Yeah. All right. That one ends. Oh, I'm close, but once we beat this dragon, I will, unless we fail, I will retire after that. You will be done with. I did not get my battle goal, as I mentioned. Immediately. like you. I know. And I did really good, like most of that freaking scenario. Add two plus one cards and replace one minus two with a plus zero. I got six gold. Remember to pull out your bless cards as well. Oh, yes. So do we actually get to go back to town? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think, <laughs> unless the next one says that it's linked. I didn't actually... Uh, that's a good question. So if 34, I need to look up, uh, that's the scorched summit. If 34 is linked, to, we, we, we can still choose to go back, but the advantage if it's linked is you don't have to roll another road event, which those can often be pretty bad. Ah, I will look it up and see. I mean, you don't want to start with muddle and it is linked to ice crag ascent. So we could choose to go straight from this dungeon to the next dungeon. Or you can go back. Or you can go back. So the advantage is you don't have to roll a road event, but you don't go back to buy equipment and get the city event and all that, too. Or pay for bless cards. That's also yeah, true. Yeah, I need to pay for bless cards. Yeah, that's what you do. That's fine. But yeah, we can come right back and fight that dragon. <laughs> Hold on, dragon. <laughs> <We've got> some, <laughs> we'll be back. We've got some preparations to make first. We just lie to him until we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Months. We'll go. Yeah. We'll go do the hibbly biblies, whatever you talked about. We're not gonna go like stock up to to fight you later. Yeah. So that was twenty five completed. Do you push the? How do you? There it goes. Okay. And then we unlocked. sure to pull your uh, minis off this board too. Oh yes. You knocked mine over like some common NPC. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I knocked them all over with the dice. <laughs> <laughs> no extra rewards on that one, just the next mission, I guess. All right, cool. I'm going to bring this recording to a close, so a successful outing for What's our team name? Black Lights Party. Yes. I really Beat like up. the... the right. Yeah, good job with the first... That, you know, that strategy worked really well with you getting, like, healed constantly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you tanked pretty goddamn well. <laughs> well, right. I'm excited. I now have 11 hit points. Ooh. Yeah, and a level up. That may actually bring us to the next scenario challenge, I wonder. So you're level three now? Yeah. Four, four, it'd be four three three? Yeah, four three three. No, we're still scenario level two. Okay. Really? All right, shutting it down. Thanks oh. everybody for watching. Bye. Bye.